What up, guys? This is Derek Larger, and I'm here with my OG, Devin Clark, <laughs> a.k.a. Young Ramen. And today, we'll be talking to you guys about All-Star Weekend. There's a lot going on, especially with uh, Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook reuniting once again. The uh, dunk contest that everyone seemed to think was an absolute failure. And also, the... DeMarcus Cousins trade to the New Orleans Pelicans. So we'll first get Devin's take on the DeMarcus Cousins trade and whether or not he thinks it was um, what he makes of the trade. Right. Um, well, as most people do, I thought it was a horrible trade for the Kings. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Pelicans robbed them, honestly. <laughs> like, yeah. They got Buddy Heald. Tyreek Evans, a first rounder for this year, and a future second rounder, I believe. Yes, and I think there was one more person. And there was Langston Galloway, but yeah. they had to cut him. Yeah. And like the whole reason they did the trade was because the King or the King's GM believes Buddy Heald is gonna be the next Steph Curry. Which I mean <laughs> like, yeah. if he's right, that's a good deal for them, I guess. So far but this first year so he has far, been a he's boss. Been, he's been okay though. He's, he's been, been okay, yeah. He's been in the top ten for most of the rookie statistics, so he hasn't been as bad as I thought he would be. Mm -hmm. But still not exactly what you would think you'd give up for DeMarcus Cousins because they could have gotten that Nets pick from the Celtics most likely mm -hmm. if they traded it there, and that would have at least guaranteed them a lottery pick because they're not going to get a lottery pick now. Right. Well, I will say this one thing. I saw this thing on Twitter and said LeBron James – is probably like throwing shit right now because of why didn't David Griffin just give away like uh who is it who am I thinking of like Channing Fry and like a first and second round pick and we could have gotten DeMarcus Cousins and that could have been great with Tristan Thompson then we would definitely win the finals that way. <laughs> um, it just seemed like a strange deal, though, considering they could have gotten so much more for him if they shopped him other places. Right, it seems right. Like they just rushed this and tried to get this Pelicans deal done really quickly. Right, and I saw a report this morning that said that the chief reporter who d did the trade initially gate rated the, the trade and said that the Pelicans receive an A minus grade, obviously because right. they're getting DeMarcus <laughs> yeah, Cousins. Obviously. But and the obviously the the Kings are getting a D minus grade because you didn't awful. you got you got potential to bring in a bunch of right. young guys to rebuild. But the problem is is that you didn't have anyone else other right. than DeMarcus Cousins. You and you had an established talent right there, but then Despite everything that he is bad for your organization, he was still a top five best right. big man in the NBA. Right. And then the other thing I found strange was, one, <laughs> even the Kings GM on NBA 2K17. Yes. Trade, yes. I, I, found, I saw that this I morning. That yes. I saw that this morning. And for all of you that don't know, go on to Twitter or Instagram and look up the Kings social media page. It literally said they did the same trade in 2K17. Right. The Kings GM said that this trade was not worthy of it at all. Right. Not even close. Like, it wasn't even allowed to even be put on the desk right. and yet here in real life here we're talking about and it now i just find it strange that they seem so rushed to get rid of them uh -huh. and like not just buy their time because they saw another week or so for the trade yeah line. but they said they wanted to they want to rebuild right now like at this very but moment like, they want what's to. the difference between rebuilding now or rebuilding in a week when you can get more for it <laughs> like it's not right like, yeah that is true it seems strange that they didn't get a pick. Like, if they had their own pick this year, yeah. that would make sense. But the Sixers are going to have it with the swap. I will just say this to the Kings. For, you better spend that money wisely because now you have $209 million that you were going to but spend on DeMarcus who's gonna, Cousins. Who's going to go there? See, I don't know, <laughs> but anyone will go anywhere if you throw $200 million no, in their they're face. they're not going to go to Sacramento, <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to get paid $200 million? But, is... like, in order to get players, they're going to have to give mediocre players okay. the next contract. Deal. Yeah, now yeah. let's let's go to the next part of this question. 
what does this do for the New Orleans Pelicans? Does, does it help them right away, or is it going to take them a year I to think, figure it out? I, they'll make the playoffs, obviously. You I think so? I don't I think, think, think they'll get out the first round just because of how strong the top of the West is. Right, exactly. Yeah. And, I mean, I think next year they'll be scary. If they can put in some other pieces, get a bench <laughs> yeah, for yeah, that team. Yeah, exactly. I think then that... Scary, but I love the, the front court now, obviously. you got Terrence Jones off the bench, who's a really good front court player. <laughs> Who the, the New Orleans Pelicans have actually been trading, have been looking for options to trade him. Actually. Which would make sense to try to get a guard. To try and get a guard the for The guard them, is yes. their need, but... Yes. I mean, I don't think they have the pieces to really compete with the top Yeah, no, they the do West not. Right yeah, because, I mean, you can have the two best big men in the oh, entire yeah. NBA. It doesn't matter if, you know, it, it will make... They're small forward. It will, it, I don't know. <laughs> they're, they're, they will make it interesting on Golden State if they make the playoffs just because right. the Kings have always been one of those teams that uh, is... Uh, Golden State's kryptonite just you because the Falcons, No, the, the Kings, Kings okay. with DeMarcus Cousins because oh, that, yeah, wait, yeah, yeah. because DeMarcus Cousins slows the game down and he right. makes it an inside and out kind of offense, which is you can't beat Golden State if you're trying right. to rush it. And that's the thing. If you penetrate them inside, that is their weakness. I, and they're they're in no way, shape, or form going to beat Golden oh, State. No, they're gonna Not lose even in close. Five. They'll lose in five, maybe six. I doubt that. if if but. somehow Anthony Davis goes off on him, right. but but yeah. the thing is, is they they need with the, Drew Holiday is not a bad guard. Right. He's not, but they need a guy that can shoot the three pointer. Right. If they get a consistent three point shooter like a Kyle Korver or something, then that team I, can make a got, difference. Um, they the also got Caspi in that trade. Oh yeah, that's true. And well, I thought they could have also gone for Aaron Aflalo. Yeah, a flaw would have been a good one. I think yes. that would have been a good pickup for them. It's but. just, yeah, this year they will not make a difference. And next year if they keep DeMarcus Cousins right. and they possibly get a point guard for the draft right. um, well, or just get a free agency. Anymore, so. uh, well, if they get a free agent, there's going to be Chris a guard Paul. around somewhere. Chris Paul. <laughs> this dude keeps thinking Chris Paul I'm is going to go to that. the... I want him to go back. Yeah. if, if <laughs> Chris Paul, if you ever watch this and if you go to New Orleans, <laughs> you're going to make this team absolutely amazing. How old is Chris Paul? Is he like 31? 30, 31, 32, I believe. Sheesh. It's funny because he doesn't even seem like oh, he's 32. He's so, so good. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to leave that one there. Now we're going to talk about what everyone was looking forward to in All-Star Weekend, which is not the dunk contest. Oh. It was Russell Westbrook and <laughs> Kevin Durant. Now, was... I'm sure all of you have heard they played a combined 82 seconds together, less than a minute and a half, but it was enough time for Russell Westbrook to get a lob from Kevin Durant for an easy dunk, and... There was some, you know, some excitement in the building once that happened, especially from the West Bench. So we're gonna ask Devin again what he, how he thought that, what does that mean for Russell and KD's relationship? Well, first, like I think that was a really good job by Steve Kerr to keep them like off the court, separated most times, and not yeah. make it a bigger issue because it wasn't really after the lob. After about halftime, you didn't hear about it anymore, and it didn't like steal the show. So, but um, I don't think there's actually really that much beef between the two of them, honestly. Like, it's getting blown out of proportion by the media. Yeah, like, obviously, Russell has his problem with KD, which, I mean, I it's, think it's It's validated. understandable, yes. But I don't think it's so. as big as the media is making it. Yeah. And I feel like if the media just, like, stayed out of it after maybe a year yeah. or two, they'd be... Well, see, and I think it, it comes down to because... The media covers it because it's a big story. It's like, right. oh, the little brother and the big brother split, and right. it's a it's a difference. It's colliding heads. Mm -hmm. Those two, if you left the media out of it, sure they'd have their grudges, but right. they're not going to like you know do all these crazy yeah. things. Now back to that, it it, it was funny because I heard the same thing from Shannon Sharp this morning. This is not over. This controversy between right. these two, it's nowhere even close to being over. As Russell Westbrook said in the comments after the game, it was a lob. It, he threw right. a pass to me. <laughs> I wanted to dunk it. What 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 else is there? I mean, there really isn't. Right. I mean, because 
these two still do not like each other. I mean, it's probably it's one of those Kobe Bryant Shaq relationships. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even. A little bit, just because, like, because just because. No, it's because it's not exactly that, but it kind of does this. It it might be true in this regard. They didn't. They pretended to like each other. They cooperated with each other because they, they gave them a good chance. Like I think they really did like each other. They liked each other until Kobe Bryant put it. Oh, I was talking about Kobe and Shaq. Okay. Yeah, Kobe and Shaq. They, yeah, yeah. Kobe Bryant and Shaq liked each other, but then Kobe said, "Shaq, I don't want to work with you because I want to be the big man right. in and the organization. You need to get the hell out." Right. So, and Kevin Durant was saying, "I can't win a championship with you, and so I want to go somewhere else." Now. Five years down the line, when uh, Russell and Kevin Durant are not um, playing basketball anymore, right. they're gonna be like, be "Why cool. the hell are we they'll fighting? Be, yeah, yeah why cool. were we fighting? Like, they'll just be like, "Yeah, we'll be cool with each other. You know, right. we don't have to hang out, but we'll be cool with each other." Right. I mean, I think what we're both getting at is that right. it meant absolutely nothing. Right. For yes. for that weekend. Definitely. I don't, I don't think it's a big deal between the two of them. They'll work it out for three years. I mean, obviously, when Katie goes back to yeah, <laughs> yes, in a few weeks, yes, that'll, yes, that's must see TV. Now, I I am calling this right now. I'm calling this right now. Kevin Durant's gonna pull off a of LeBron James and go back to Oklahoma City once he wins two championships with Golden State, and then Steph Curry's gonna go on his way to Charlotte. And then Clay Thompson's gonna stick around with Draymond Green, but Kevin Durant's gonna go back with Russell Westbrook, and he is going to win a championship for Oklahoma City. I'm calling it right now. I'd like now. to see it. I, I, I think that see I see it happening. I absolutely see if LeBron can come back from an owner that basically called him a menace to the Cleveland society right. and the city yeah. that absolutely despised him, but once he came back, they loved him again. Right. I can see that happening with Kevin Durant. And I, feel I can like, see it. I feel like a lot of the hate from OKC is just manufactured by the media. Yeah, like, it is. I don't it think is. they hate him as much as Cleveland hated him. Yeah, before. right. That, well, was, that yeah. was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. Like, it, I was, I'm from Columbus, and everyone in Columbus wanted him to die as well. It was crazy. Well, see, the funny thing is, 10 years from now, we're starting to see free agents move. Right. Uh, and and they're going to, 10 will, years from now, no one will care. People will be upset when their superstar leaves. No more Jersey. But there's, it's not going to be like, oh, you're a menace to society. No, right. they're just going to be like, man, that sucks. Like, and honestly. Like, I'm just bummed out because I missed out on getting, like, a KD Thunder jersey for, like, a dollar. You could have gotten them. Yeah, you could yeah, you could still like, get them for ten cents. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much his price value is now yeah, in Oklahoma yeah. City. Ten cents. <laughs> they closed his restaurant down, even though I think he reopened it for the weekend that he came back. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, uh, it's great for it, it's NBA. great. Yeah, it's I great publicity it's really great. because it brings a storyline. Right. Because we all know how this season's probably going to end up. Most likely, it's going to be Kevin Durant in Golden State and LeBron James in Cleveland. Going back for a three P, right. and I, I hate to say it as a It'll Cleveland fan, <laughs> it will probably be Golden State. Just because, uh, unless Cleveland can get Kevin Love back healthy, and he stays healthy, if he stays healthy, <laughs> and he actually the the team plays some goddamn defense. <laughs> Seriously, and then something good will happen. They can beat Golden State if they can play some defense. So now we're going to go on to the next topic, which has been a big one, uh, which is about the dunk contest and Ooh. how it was Ooh. his reaction. Ooh. Exactly. <laughs> Ew. It was Ew. it. Show, it ended up being not quite the show that everyone expected. We uh, Most people would have expected Aaron Gordon to steal the show from these nobodies. Right. And then t soon enough, Glenn Robinson the third like, pulls off a of John Wall to win the uh, dunk contest. Now, the question being, especially LeBron James in this scenario, why aren't the superstar dunkers in the NBA doing these dunk contests? which most people wish they would see. Right. And I'll go back to Devin for that to get his opinion on I think it was really cool that they had Derrick Jones, though. <laughs> I like that. 
And I feel like they'll bring him back. He was just nervous this time. You could tell he was nervous. Yeah, yeah, he was. He was. They I will mean, bring him back. Filthy. Yeah, he's he will, yeah, they will filthy. bring him back. So he'll he'll be back. Even I yeah, even Kenny win Smith one. said that. They yeah. said they'll he'll, bring him back. Oh yeah. They will. Because he's got hops. Win one. He, oh he is. He's got hops. That yeah. donkey was trying the one between the legs over three people. It would have been insane if he got Oh my gosh, that was that would have been one of the best dunks ever. But the whole like superstars in the dunk contest thing. I would like to see it, but it's never going to happen. You know? <laughs> like, well, answer this. Who was in the dunk contest last year? Was Aaron Gordon, Levine, Zach Levine. I don't know who the other two do, are. Yeah, exactly. Like, do we need, need another two? You don't need superstars to have a great dunk contest. You just need good dunks. Yes, and that was the one. I think everyone's blowing this out of proportion because we were expecting Aaron Gordon Right. to put on the dunk show, and we just thought, oh, you know, everyone else is going to be on their level, but Aaron Gordon's going right. to be up here. And then it's like, he had a chance, that first dunk with the drone, it had creativity. It had the ability for him to finish it. He just, he just didn't, didn't any finish it. Yep. He, just he, didn't. he had no bounce. No bounce and at all. I think it's a foot injury he's coming off of. I don't know why he did the dunk contest. <laughs> I don't know. In the but, first place. But, but see, but. yeah, exactly. Like, and... And anyone that continues to watch this will know I hate Skip Bayless with a passion. <laughs> this morning, this, everyone go throw some hate on Skip Bayless on Twitter. He said that LeBron James never competing in a dunk contest in his 14-year career means that for Skip Bayless, LeBron James is no longer a top 10 player. Just because... Which is funny because he puts Tim Duncan and Larry Bird in there. Larry Bird never competed in a dunk contest. Tim Duncan never competed in a dunk contest. Of course, he'll say, I mean, "Oh, Larry Bird wasn't as athletic." Oh, really Tim Duncan. To see Larry Bird exactly. Like, Him and them I, short shorts. See, I, I don't. I don't really like LeBron. I mean, he. Yes, he, knows he doesn't. That. He doesn't like him I as much. I respect that he is a top five player of all time. Mm -hmm. But. Seeing him in the dunk contest now would be similar to DeAndre. He's a star, but what's he going to do apart from... Right. Rims? Well, see, and the funny thing was, <laughs> is like, Dwight Howard, we used to see him, but it was like... It was the he creativity throw, that Yeah, he'd it. throw it off the top of the backboard and dunk it, right. and he put one hand on the glass was, and then dunk, or even almost make it from the free throw line. Right. See, like... That's interesting because that yeah. was and Dwight yeah, Howard in his prime. Superman act, and that's what made him. That's what really like made the dunk contest good those years. But right, well, and, like, and what is LeBron yeah. gonna do? Yeah, he'd have to get creative, and that's the thing. the The guys like Russell Westbrook and LeBron James and these kinds of guys. They're not the Zach Levines or Aaron Gordon. Right. They're, they're not finesse. The <laughs> yeah, they're going to break the rim. They're coming at the rim, and they want to power it down right. just because they want to get the crowd pumping. And, you know, and, and to skip Bayless here, <laughs> the dunk contest is not – what defines a great player. It's for the fans. It was never anything about basketball. It's just that one weekend where people who didn't even watch basketball could just watch right. somebody dunk. <laughs> it's like, it right. means nothing. Yeah, it really. it's, it, that's just such a stupid thing to say. I mean, like, I get that Skip Bayless is that guy that will, like, contradict you on everything. See, this guy just, can be a LeBron hater when he wants to be, yeah, but yeah. Skip <laughs> Bayless is a die-hard LeBron James hater. He's just I, a logic hater. <laughs> Yes, he's a logic hater, <laughs> but a lot of his arguments that aren't based off logic but are just based off opinion are absolutely absurd. Oh, yeah, and, like, I, I get that he's just, like, being paid to disagree with you. Yeah, with everything, but, like, yeah. at some point, just, like, I like that whole, like, you get the discussion going, but, like, it can be less idiotic. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Well, I will do, we'll do this one last topic. I think that Devin probably knows it. Did you hear about Darrell Revis? I did. About that. I did. Okay, that well, was... and if all of you who don't know, Darrell Revis was arrested last weekend for uh, a numerous amounts of charges, one being... Uh, domestic abuse, two being terroristic threats, three assault. Now, there were reports that it wasn't Darrell Revis at all. 
mm-hmm. and TMZ was faking the story at first. But then again, I think that was blown out of the There's a picture. Video yeah, there was a but video released by TMZ, you but it it yeah, you could not really. tell if it was Darrell Revis. Now, Darrell Revis said that he was being threatened, and that's why he attacked first. Now, the police went through an investigation and said that was false. He was the one that started all of it. Now, what what's your reaction to all of this, and what do you think this uh, means to him? Because, I mean, I he's mean, his I don't career's know. done. Yeah, like, I think it is, too. Yeah, I, could, I, I agree I with you. I don't see anyone picking him up after this if he <laughs> ends up getting out whenever he does. I'd assume he's probably going to jail at some point. Yeah, the, he this. has a trial set sometime this week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. and it's just like the Jets are already a dumpster fire as it is. Yeah. So why just add on to this dumpster fire? And right, like last yeah. year we were all expecting Revis Island to do something, right. but we saw we saw people entering the island <laughs> make a U turn and go around. Who was it? We, went, there was someone that had like a ninety yard catch. The, on the first, first week game, Sammy Watkins. It was That's Sammy Watkins. It was, yeah. No, it wasn't even Sammy. Or it was, was it? it was a Bills receiver that was, was a nobody, but he scrub, burned yeah. him. He burned Revis. Yeah. That was the big story, especially when yeah. after they faced the Bengals, AJ Green had a huge game against Revis. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't because AJ Green was making these great catches. He blew Revis out of the bu- out of the building and just caught long bombs all game. So, I mean, you combine how bad he was last season with this issue just now. Right. There's no reason to just keep. Right. Him There's keep no him reason to, for anyone to sign him. Just like- and if I'm Revis, I as soon as this thing is done, and if you get out of whatever it is you just did. I would leave. I would leave football and just leave everything behind. Everything. Right. Stay in the in the hiding for a while. Right. Yeah. He just. I mean, he's made his money. He's cool. He right. He's made his money. He can go. Yeah. He don't. No one needs him. I don't. Think yeah. He's right. A, he's a mediocre. He's not. Yeah. Player. He's mediocre he's now. It's like, yeah. I don't want to compare it to Tim Tebow, but it's like Tim Tebow's a mediocre quarterback. With a huge like distraction if you sign him and it's a mess. Skip Bayless would strongly disagree with yeah, you. Yeah, he would disagree with everything. I'd say, <laughs> Tim, no. Tebow, Tim Tebow is the greatest quarterback to ever come into the NFL, folks. You can bet your money on it. Just because he did one great play to Demarius Thomas to beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. You see, I'm really still angry about that because like any quarterback in the he's league not even a Steelers throw. fan either. Oh no, I hate the Steelers too. <laughs> I'm a Buccaneers fan. Uh, uh, yeah, he's so a, we're in the Yankees. Yeah, right. Now. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's similar to that though. It's just too much of a distraction, not worth it. For right. The season, not worth the production. Well, hopefully, whatever it is he does next, hopefully right. it, it will will it will we will see soon enough yeah. whether or not he will come back. Mm-hmm. All right, well, that is it for today's show. Make sure you guys leave a comment, a like, subscribe, and I'll be sure to have Young Ramen on more <laughs> videos to come. So, yeah, and then, yeah, y'all, <laughs> then, see, like, look at this. Look at this. Just look at that. Like, he's going straight Odell Beckham out here. Like, all he needs is, like, the little cornrows, the, the twisties. Or, little twisties to look like actual ramen noodles, and then he'll look great. <laughs> all right, until next time, peace, guys.